Welcome to my Vector Fields Particle Pack, where I have over 50 vector field particles created using May 2015 simulation software. Subduction. A lot of these are examples of how to use these different vector fields. All the vector fields are included, and here's examples of how they're applied changing sprites out you can do different effects so I applied 50 different versions of the 20 plus vector fields that you get in the pack a dust double for swirls billowing which is useful for clouds smoke these are all using uh, GPU particles GPU sprites, so it's very performant. A wormhole or a loading screen. <laughs> Force field. Now all these particles are shown being active all the time. They look differently if you pulse them on and off. So you can imagine this radiating out every time an impact happens. Here's some examples of some sprites uh, applied to it. Here's like an aurora effect. Here's a uh, <coughs> fire jet. Again, <coughs> all these settings can be changed and tweaked. A nuke. My favorite particle is this wall, energy wall. It's modular. It fits the uh, the sides of the the opening that you have. So if you have an arch, or if you have a square, a circle, a triangle, a hexagon, it matches the edges, and it just looks pretty cool. Definitely uh, love the sci-fi feel. My fish, which. Uh, these particles can actually be attached to uh, a gun and be shot, such as that. Blender. Particle shaft. Now this would be cool. This is just an example of a particle uh, teleporter. You can add more particles to a beam, uh, some interlying uh, pieces to it to make it even a better teleporter. Eddy current with some water drops. 3D dwarf, white dwarf. Suction. And this one's pretty cool. The wave splash. You can see how it looks like waves hitting back and forth. Again, changing out the sprites to anything you want to use it for. Conduit. Again, these are all vector field particles, every one of them in this, this pack, all 50 plus. I believe there's 52 total. The nucleus. And swarm. It's only half of them. And gateway. Again, these are cool. They have different effects if you move them across. They're not static. A geopole. A sprinkler. This one was quite fun. The atom. And this has a, a camera distance effect to it. When you get closer, you can change its color, get farther away, it turns it green. Napalm. I love this one as you're flinging the napalm or plasma it flings off his arms all with vector fields gives all that extra gooeyness to it and gooey particles the fumes again this uh, could be um, <clears throat> up a wall or on a floor or on a ceiling ground fire this can be 
just sitting on the ground. I love the how it dips in. It looks really organic. That was really a fun one to do. And using slightly different vector fields, you can get slightly different effects. So all these can be modified. Here's like a froth. A mist above a pond. Or if you have something that's uh, thawing or heating up. Here's a thaw. Oh, and this one's poison vent. So you can kind of see a, a vent pulling it up, pouring out poison. Or you can repurpose it as the, uh, the, uh, the exhaust of a rocket ship getting ready to take off. There's all kinds of uh, good applications for this one. One eye that I actually use <laughs> in uh, Abitron. And my wall again. Tornado. You can change the uh, colors or the sprites to meet, meet your uh, needs. Flame shield. It's a shield shooting out. And this is really trance. This one is the Nova. And then these are actual uh, global vector field. And uh, you place these in the level and they do special effects. Intersection. And that sums it up, all 50 of them. All kinds of examples to build the basic library of vector field particles. Very excited about this and had fun uh, pu putting my library up here. And hopefully uh, this helps you out and I hope you like it. Thanks.